to life for us in Beijing. Now we talk about Shanghai, where housing prices there are heading lower. September and October are normally the peak season for housing sales, but not this year. In fact, the city's unsold inventory of houses hit a record high this month. Zhang Jun has more. This apartment complex in rural Jiading district is approaching completion, but its developer is still waiting for home buyers. Over the past decade, the same developer has built and sold more than 7,000 homes in the same neighborhood, with the price jumping from about 5,000 yuan a square meter in 2004 to 23,000 yuan now. But one company official says this year is the worst ever. The housing sales in our company has become much slower than years before and definitely affected our business. For example, in the past, we could sell some 100 apartments in one month. Now we can only sell several dozens of them because many home buyers are just waiting for price or policy changes. Shanghai is one of the few top tier cities in China where home buying restrictions are still in place. The policies are meant to control prices, but that isn't happening. The average price of a home here is around 30,000 yuan per square meter. That's nearly six times the city's average monthly salary for one square meter of space. This month, the city's inventory of unsold housing reached a record high of 12 million square meters. But developers say the business still has a strong future here. Zhong Xiangcai from the Shanghai Academy of Social Sciences since the city's large migrant population will keep prices aloft. A major purpose of the home buying is to get real property. Not about one third of Shanghai's population, about eight to nine million, don't have a local residence permit. Many of them want to buy homes here so that they can work or live as freely and conveniently as locals. Zhong says the city's economic growth is not dependent on real estate anymore. He says real estate does relate to more than 50 industries, from steel to furniture. But over half the city's GDP output now comes from the service sector and high-tech industries, not real estate. Zhang Jun, ICS4 CCTV, Shanghai.